Hi friends, it's so good to see you. I have a really fun project to show you today. I'm going to show you how to make your very own cloud dough. Look at that, it's so soft and fluffy just like a cloud. And it's very easy to make. So let's look at the ingredients that you'll need and I'll show you how to make your very own cloud dough. For this project, you will only need a few ingredients. You will need a large mixing bowl, a spoon, a one cup measurement, and then to make the actual cloud dough, you will need some baby lotion or regular lotion, something that's gentle and smells nice, and I would recommend getting a large container of it because we'll need one cup of lotion. You will need cornstarch, and like many of our projects, some liquid food colors. All right, so let's get started. Here's what we'll do first. We are going to open the lotion up and then we are going to fill up the one cup all the way to the top. And you might have to squeeze a little bit to get the lotion out. Mm, it smells very nice and fresh. This is a lot of lotion. So this is why I say make sure you have a pretty big container and that way if there's any leftovers, you can just keep it in your bathroom and use it. Okay, so we have one cup of lotion. Let's put the lid back on. Okay, add a little extra. Okay, now let's pour it into the bowl. And then I'm actually going to use this spoon to scoop out all the lotion to make sure I have every little drop of it. We need all of it. Okay, so we have our lotion in the bowl. The next thing we're going to do is get our food coloring. Today I'm going to use pink. And we're going to add just a few drops directly to the lotion, just like this. One, two, three, four. Let's start with four and see how it looks. And then look, just mix it up. how that color looks so I think I'll just leave it like that that is a beautiful bright pink and I, if you want it to be darker you can add a few more drops and that will make the color a little bit darker and brighter but I like it like that the pastel pink looks beautiful okay now I've washed and dried the spoon and the cup and we are ready to add the cornstarch so be very careful because this cornstarch is very powdery and it gets everywhere. So we're going to use a spoon just like this to carefully scoop it and fill up the one cup measurement. Okay, and then when it's full, we will pour it into the lotion. But that's not all. We are going to do one more cup. So get your spoon and scoop it into the one cup measuring cup. We use one cup of lotion and two cups of cornstarch. That means we're using double the cornstarch. And this is why this cloud dough is going to be so soft and fluffy because this cornstarch is super fluffy. Okay, we're ready to add the last 
cup of cornstarch into our bowl. See how it looks so far? And then use the spoon to scoop out any extra from the measuring cup. Kind of tap it and get it all in there. Okay, so we've zoomed in on the bowl so you can see it closely. And we're just going to start carefully mixing it up. We're gonna mix up all the lotion and the cornstarch together until it makes a nice fluffy dough. Now first I'm mixing it with my spoon, but as it starts to form together and get a little bit fluffier, it might be nice. If you want to, you can mix it with your hands. Get your hands a little bit dirty and squishy. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. Look, it's starting to get a lot firmer as the lotion and the cornstarch mix together. And just, you wanna make sure all of the cornstarch is nice and combined with the lotion. That way it's all one nice color. All right, let's see how this feels. Ooh, it's very soft. It does, it feels just like a cloud. So now I'm gonna mix it with my hand a little bit. And look how that looks. It's stretchy and fluffy and squishy, just like Play-Doh. Look how cool. And you can use lots of colors to make this. You can mix your own color. If you want to make orange, you can mix red and yellow or you can use blue or green, or you can take this recipe and divide it and you can make multiple colors. So look at that. Now we have our cloud dough. And you know what? This has to be stored in a airtight container. So you need to keep it either in a Ziploc bag or inside of a Tupperware. And eventually, if it does start to dry out a little bit, all you have to do is add a little extra lotion. Just one or two squirts of lotion and mix it together again like this, and it will get nice and, and moist and fluffy again. So remember, if it starts to dry out, just add a little more lotion. <gasps> Look how cool. Look at that. And there you have your cloud dough. How fun. Okay guys, I hope you had fun today. Remember, if you want to keep your cloud dough to use it for another time, you have to put it in a Tupperware container like this with a lid. That way it keeps the air out and it keeps it from getting dry. And if it does start to get a little dry, all you have to do is add like one or two squirts of lotion and it will freshen it right up. So I hope you have a chance to make this in your own house. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.